Hey guys, Brandon Johnson here again. Thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at that classic fiddle tune, Salt Creek, also known as Salt River. Perhaps you know it. It's one of those songs that everybody knows. It's in the key of A, it's played on a capo two. And I've been playing it for years, kind of my own way. And I decided to sit down and learn the Doc Watson style of this song. It's the Doc Watson version, note for note. So that's kind of what this lesson's about. It's kind of on the Doc Watson style variation of this song. So I hope you enjoy it and let's check it out. All right, let's look at Salt Creek. The song is out of capo two. And it generally starts with a slide up pickup type of move. It sounds like this. And you can either slide up from the second fret D string to the fifth fret D string, or you can slide up from the third fret D string to the fifth fret D string. But as long as you land on the fifth fret D string, so you can play that open G note. So it's Okay, and that leads us into measure number one. So measure number one starts with the slide up. And you can either do a double slide up, so you can go... Or you can just do a single slide up. It's kind of player's choice on that one. And I've heard Doc do both. So let's take a look at measure number one. So you're starting with a slide up. And I have it there from the 2nd fret D string to the 5th fret D string. Okay, so you're starting with a downstroke. Landing on the G with an upstroke. And again, that's kind of player's choice as well. If you wanted to play a downstroke followed by a downstroke. Okay, so after two of those. Then we're starting with a downstroke on the G string second fret. Upstroke open. Downstroke on the second fret again. Upstroke open B. Downstroke one on the B string. Okay, let's take a look at measure number one. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time, measure number one, starting with the slide up on the second fret D string with your middle finger. One, two, three, four. Okay, and going into measure number two, we're playing a lot of downstrokes here. And generally you're going to want to be holding kind of a C or an F shape, generally with your fingers. So it's either a C shape like this, or an F shape like this. We're starting with a pull off on the 2nd fret G string with a downstroke. Followed by a downstroke on the D string 3rd fret. And then we're going to repeat that again. Followed by a downstroke on the open G, upstroke 2, downstroke open, upstroke on the 2nd fret D string, downstroke open D. Okay, measure number 2, we're starting with a downstroke pull off on the G string 2nd fret. 1, 2, 3, 4. time, measure number two, starting with a downstroke pull off on the G string second fret. One, two, three, four.
Okay, let's take a look at measures one and two, starting with a D string slide up between the second and the fifth fret on a downstroke. One, two, three, four. Rest. Okay, and looking at measure number three, measure number three is identical to measure number one. So we're going into the full slide up on the G, and then we're playing it again, followed by a downstroke on the second fret G string, upstroke open, downstroke two, upstroke open B, downstroke one. Now you'll see there, right at the end of measure number three, there's a small pickup. That's the only difference between measures number one and three. And that small pickup is on the B string first fret with your index finger with a downstroke, followed by an open E. And that brings us into measure number four. Okay, let's look at measure number four. We're starting with a downstroke on the high E first fret with your index finger followed by an upstroke on the open E, followed by a downstroke on the B string third fret, back up to E with the first fret E string upstroke, downstroke open E, upstroke third fret B string, downstroke first fret B string, upstroke open B, Downstroke 3rd fret B string, upstroke open B, downstroke 2nd fret G string, upstroke open G, now down to the D, we're playing a downstroke on the 2nd fret D string, upstroke open, downstroke again on the 2nd fret D string, followed by an open G upstroke. Okay, there's a lot of notes in measure number four, but it's all alternating picking. So it's down, up, down, up the entire time. Okay, measure number four. We're starting with the downstroke on the first fret E string. One, two, three, four. One more time, measure number four, starting with a downstroke on the high E first fret. One, two, three, four. All right, let's take a look at measures three and four. Measure number three is nearly identical to measure number one, except for that two note pickup at the very end. Starting with a slide up on the D string between the second and the fifth fret. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, looking at measure number five, measure number five is identical to measure number one. So we're doing the slide up from the second fret to the fifth fret on the D string with your middle finger. Okay, and going into measure number six, this is one of my favorite licks of the entire song. And I picked this up from Doc Watson. So we're starting with the second fret G string with our middle finger. And it's an up-down, up-down type of move. This entire measure is alternating picking. So we're going down stroke on the second fret G string, up stroke open, down stroke second fret again, up stroke open, down stroke D string third fret, up stroke open G, down stroke on the first fret G, up stroke on the second fret G, back down to one, down stroke, up stroke open G. Now we're going down to the D string third fret with a down stroke. Up stroke two, D string. Down stroke open D. Up stroke two, D string. Back up to the third fret, D string. And then an up stroke on the open G. Okay, measure number six. We're starting with a down stroke on the G string second fret. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's take a look at measures 5 and 6 together, starting with the slide up on the 2nd fret D string to the 5th fret D string. Okay, measures number 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Rest. 